two of this one. Although EDC not only for weapons. EDC not only for weapons are brass knuckles, mace, pepper spray, taser, monkey fist, cabin boot pin, and this right here. I'm gonna make it short and sweet because I don't know how much time I'm after I got here. You got your non-lethal weapons and you got your non-lethal weapons. I want to talk about the non-lethal ones. The non-lethal ones are a lot better. You got ones that have cat eye, cat ones, which that falls in the lethal weapon of the CDC. EDC. Edge, defense, critical. That's what it stands for. And everything. Different ones for different things. And, uh, and, uh, you gotta understand, there's some people out there that write a how a non lethal weapon and a lethal weapon and everything. Now for the lethal weapons, like these right here, karambit, your spike knuckles, gar, and all the things you get your lethal knives, stuff like that. And uh, but my opinion is best to have a non-lethal EDC weapon. That way, you don't go to jail. That's why I put it right there. I have friends sometimes ask me that I know, not my friends from work or anybody, but actually my close close friends. They ask me stuff like, "What's the best weapon?" I just tell them you can't go wrong with a good edge blade. Problem is that you got to be trained. People, you see people in these commercials, like these movies, fight when you around, like spinning out that. They was trained to do that. You just can't. This, that, or that, while training. You don't want to bring a real knife to a training fight. Like I always say, don't bring a dull knife to a knife fight. Or don't bring a gun to a knife fight. Or don't bring a gun to a sword fight. Or anything. Don't bring an edge weapon to a training seminar. Train. Did nobody want to be able to train with you because you sliced them all up. Stuff like that. This is me signing out. I'm leaving you with this image here.